Hello and welcome to part 10 of the overhand knot. Now in the last video we looked at uh, a knot called the barrel knot in climbing circles. It's also called the blood knot. It's called a blood knot because it was tied in the ends of uh, the threads of a cat of nine tails for flogging sailors so it would bite into the skin all the more nastily. There is another knot called a blood knot which we'll look at another time. And again, it's one of those confusing things where there are similar names for different knots and um, different knots, well, the same knot is called different things in different places. Anyway, uh, let's have a look further at this blood knot or barrel knot. It is really an overhand knot. Here's our overhand knot. We would normally come up through this loop. But in this case, we're going to create a second loop like this. The second loop is not like this on the left side. The second loop goes over the standing part. So there's our first loop, there's our second loop. We're kind of creating a coil that goes back on itself up the standing part. It's worth thinking of it that way. And in fact, it's a good introduction to the fact that knots are three dimensional. Very often this knot is actually tied around something, more often than not, a thumb. So there we are, I'm creating this kind of coil back on itself. So the barrel knot is this. Where's the, there's the first loop, there's the second loop over the standing part, and then it goes through both of those loops to create that. It has a distinctive look, as we saw. It has this cross shape on one side and the two lines sit neatly up against each other on the other side. We can do this like the double overhand knots more than once. So there's three times. Let's go through the coil, dress the knot up neatly then we end up with a, I don't know, let's call that a triple blood knot. There's a few things we can do with that. That's a nice decorative knot, as you can see. And it's quite nice tied in flat laces. So here's just a sort of stopper knot, a decorative knot on the end of a, um, a, a lace on a hoodie. Uh, it's particularly nice if it's tied in cotton thread like on this coke for example so there's a triple or actually it's a quadruple barrel knot tied on the lanyard of that coat and it has some nice practical uses as well so I said uh, in an earlier video that I wouldn't trust my life to a single overhand knot but let's say we're climbing here's my uh, figure of eight knot which we'll talk about another time tied to a harness and um, what we need to do is to tidy up this tail end and pr produce a stopper knot to stop this knot from slipping. So I could tie a overhand knot in my line like this. That would work but it could slip, it could come free, could easily happen without me noticing. So let's tie something a bit more secure. I'm going to use my thumb. We tie back towards ourselves. So there's the first loop. There's the second loop. And I'm going to come over the standing part of that particular knot and under. And I'm going to produce that distinctive look. It's a good way to check this knot. There's the cross shape. And on the other side, the two lines sit flat against each other. Let's have a look at that again. There's the first loop, there's the second loop, and up through the middle. There's a nice stopper knot. It's not going to work itself loose, and it's certainly not going to allow this working end to go through our main knot. 
Similarly, if you were climbing a tree, let's say, it's a good not using tree climbing. Here is our trusty Blake's hitch. Again, something that we'll look at in future videos. But uh, this is a, a knot you really do uh, need to depend upon. This is a, a friction knot which uh, is directional and we'll talk about that as I say in other videos. But what we don't want is for this working end to work its way through the Blake's hitch. So we're going to tie a barrel knot on this working end, on this tag end, to stop it from working loose. Often you're working with quite a small um, piece of working end here so you have to keep it a bit tight. So there's our first loop. There's our second loop, and you come up through the middle. And there's our now familiar looking barrel knot, that sort of cross shape on one side, and on the other side, the two lines sitting neatly and flatly against each other. It's a nice, chunky stopper knot that won't work loose it's not going to let that tail end work through the Blake's hitch and I really can bet my life on that knot. The barrel knot. 